Japanese had a major problem going many years back, back to World War II, access to oil. Uh, that was, you know, they needed oil. That caused certain events to happen that provoked and extended World War II. The, uh, the Arab oil embargo uh, that actually took place uh, in Japan, this is devastating. You know, they import 90% of all their fossil fuels, 95% of all their fossil fuels. Thus, they push towards nuclear power. Now, also, they push very heavily to conservation, efficiency, and solar, which they've done a fabulous job. But still, they push nuclear as the one secure source they would have. No major dependency issue in either country. Well, this has just shattered that. Psychologically, this is a huge blow to this country of Japan. Every country in the world is now reassessing their position and stance of nuclear power. They aren't stopping what they're doing, they're reassessing to learn from what happened in Japan, to make sure as far as possible, as far as humanly possible, all the safety measures are in place and all the tests have been run at higher degrees of severity to make sure things are more secure and more safe. It's, it's, it's actually put a major question mark in people's minds. We have to live through this episode. And, you know, it has an aftershock as well. I use that term as well, but there's an aftershock that's going to come on the psychology of all energy sources, basically. Uh, what it has said is we need to think about energy security in a much, much different way going forward.